Can you truly explore Kenya without going to Mombasa? Today, I get to explore the stunning Mombasa for the first time. I get to tour the old town, try some street food, as well as some amazing local restaurants, and of course, the magnificent beaches. Let's get into it. official day in Mombasa. We are about to head out and explore the town so I can give you my first impressions of Mombasa. You see my view this morning, so pretty. The beach is right there. I left the doors open last night when I slept and listen, I, I couldn't even wake up this morning because the breeze and the sound of the waves kept me sleeping. Anyways, I need to be out before the end of the day. Let's go and explore Mombasa together don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my kenyan content so far clearly i am having a time of my life and i'm definitely coming back let's get into it you guys we're going to tour the rest of our airbnb before we head into town i love that there's so much room around here there's a lot of green here i love it look at this anime stunning right Walk down to the beach. Let's go. I need to come up for the day, guys. This is like a work trip, so I feel like I can't take my time to take it all of these. But man, look at this beach here. Absolutely stunning. I don't think it's swimmable, but it's nice. We're getting closer and closer. I love this. We're heading down onto the water. A lot of people come on their honeymoon out here, I think, which makes sense. I'll check out the beach, like the proper beach, uh, later on when we're heading out now. So it's more of a good hotel. now we're heading to the shops we need to go and sort out my sim card because somehow i got locked and then we can start exploring the town so far it's very unique it's very the buildings are different it's really chill not as busy and you definitely feel like you're in a coastal town because there's so much breeze and it's very hot as well lots of coconut trees in random places and the homes look like beach homes as well. Our SIM card is sorted now, so we're heading to go eat and then we're gonna go explore Old Town first and see where the day takes us. The roads in Nairobi are definitely way better than the roads in Mombasa. There's lots of potholes in Mombasa. <laughs> where within the town lots of uh, Somalian people this is a local place we found online so we're gonna go check it out I think it's Somalian food so let's see what we can get there another thing you will notice in Mombasa is there's a lot of those 
tuk-tuks, you know the tricycles, they're very common around here. I think it's a common way of transportation here in, in Mombasa. It's clearly a very popular spot because it's busy. There's a lot of people here. That's a good sign, right? We ordered some food. We ordered chicken curry, fish curry, rice, naan bread. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, I can get it to be a little bit spicy because the food out here is not spicy at all, guys. They're killing me so much. Every West African eats spice. Other than that, the food is delicious, though. Don't get me wrong. I really enjoyed all the food I've had. I just wish a little bit of chili from Ghana so I can just sneak it in when I'm eating. We're on Makadara Road right next to the Mubata Police Station. So we're gonna eat and then take a walk around and explore the town a little bit. We ordered tamarind juice as well. Yes, so that, that'll be interesting. I don't think I've had that before, but I know we have it in Ghana. This is complete opposite to my experience in Nairobi because you know in Nairobi I was ranting on about how like nobody watches you when you're filming because like it's like they see all the time, but here, literally, everybody's watching. This is a proper local spot though, so, you know, you can see everybody here is a local. There's not many tourists, so maybe that's why they're not used to, like, people holding the camera around and stuff like that. It tastes like your I don't know what we call your in English, but your is like a fruit. Those black foods that you peel and then you eat the skin and then there's the seed inside. But it's very refreshing. It tastes just like your eat. Fish curry. Thanks. Okay. Fish curry. Look at this. It smells so nice. This is a coconut fish curry. And then we've got some white rice, vegetables. We've got chicken curry, some white rice, and vegetables. We ordered some naan bread as well, which is coming. So one of the tea. You guys saw our naan is here. Oh my lord. Naan is my weakness. I can eat so much of it and not even feel bad about it. Really, really good. Naan bread hmm, and me. It's so fresh, so soft. It's like, oh my god. Delicious. Look at the fish. I just wish it was spicy. I'll try a little bit of the chili. Okay. The sauce is spicy. The chili sauce is spicy. Mm. The chili makes it all better. The food is good and the sense is really great. Yeah. Can you tell? I need a nap. I'm so full. But that was really, really good. We're gonna go walk around Old Town now. And our wait time was so nice. So nice. You guys need to come here. And it's only a walk away from Old Town. We're all done now. We spent, look out, you saw all the food we ordered, right? Only 2,040 Kenya shillings. The tour of Old Town has begun. We're walking from the restaurant. We're trying to walk off all the food we ate before at the restaurant. So we're going to explore Old Town. Okay. Mm -hmm. So unique. Very, very antique. I don't know if people link it or like they're just for show, but we'll find out. Mombasa Old Town is considered a World Heritage Site. It's an area within Mombasa, Kenya. It's located on the southeast side of Mombasa. The Old Town covers about 72 hectares and is inhabited by a mix of Swahili, Arab, Asian, Portuguese and British settlers. We mostly came across Swahili people during our tour. Everybody really just minds their own business here, you know, like, <laughs> they'll just say, yes, I can see that, thank you. <laughs> someone's, uh, someone's just saying welcome to Mombasa. They're so friendly, like nobody bothers you. The most you get is a stay, like they'll be wondering what you're doing, but they don't really say anything. But this place is quite unique. They all have a lot in front of it, I'm not sure what the shop is doing. 
there's not nothing to do but it's just interesting to see and it's so peaceful like it's really calm and you feel so safe as well I can quite easily come walking around here on my own if I come right up. Like, you can tell there were some really decent shops around here, but now I look so different. Some of them look almost new. It was like it was nearly done and then they closed it down. We've noticed they have street food in uh, Oak Town as well. We do plan on doing that, but we just had lunch as we saw, so we don't want to eat it. I'm still so fascinated by how unbothered they are about the camera. Like, in, if anything, it's easier to film here because in Nairobi you have to be mindful. You don't want anybody stealing your stuff. But here, you're safe and no one's bothering you. Like, oh, it's so nice to walk around here. What's, what's on this? What's on that one? Good chili. Good yeah, chili. Chili? Yes. Okay, how do you, how much is it? 10 bucks. Okay, give me one. Where are you from? From Ghana. Ghana? Yeah. Nice country. Welcome to our country. Though. Thank you. You guys have a nice country too. I've never been in Ghana. Oh, you need to go. Where have you been? Yeah, chili please. You guys, I'm trying mango with chili. First time. So they're chili? It's very salty. Yeah. Oh, it's spicy and salty. Or should I try without the chili? Does it taste good without the chili? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, let me try. This is like green mangoes. It's not salty, it's sour. Yeah. They're green mangoes. They're not sweet like what I'm used to. I'm gonna eat it with salt and chili. Very interesting. Mm. I got my luck. <laughs> it's not my luck apparently. So sometimes you get really good ones. Oh, okay. They literally just want to say hi or wave or something. Like it's pretty Oh, they're not, if they're not interested, they'll just sit quietly and just stare. They don't say anything. But if they're interested, they'll definitely say something. Someone just called me baby. Some old man. He's like, hey, baby. Hi, People are swimming as you can see. It looks really fun. But I'm not getting in there. I'm just gonna sit here and relax a little bit and then we'll go and explore a little more. Okay, so I'm leaving for Jesus Beach and I'm heading to Public Beach now. Apparently they have some really good street food there, so we'll go and check that out. Enjoy your money. Another convenient way of traveling around uh, Mombasa is with the Toto. We're paying, I think, 500 Kenyan shillings for this. Asante, Asante Baba.
yes. Because general. Ah, yes. Because general teaching and referral. Yes. All the way down there. Maybe that's the kind of mango they use, and then they soak it in sugar or something. I, I try it. 
different mangoes. This is like one of the most popular street food to find around here. I thought it was potato, but it's not. It's cassava, but it's a cut into potato like thing. And they deep fried it. It's actually quite nice. This one is not like there's no flavor or anything, just so. I need a drink or something, so I'm gonna try it. to make honeymoon destination to be honest like you don't have to go asia you can just come to mombasa honestly the beaches the cow the food the people ah what an experience i ordered the english breakfast and it comes with food you get juice you get tea and you get the sausages and the whole shebang which is really good for a thousand five hundred ksh and this is like a resort as well you know resorts are generally more expensive but it's not that expensive. This is there. I got the passion fruit juice. Most places in Kenya serve passion fruit juice. I don't know if it's like grown out here or something. Because everybody has it. It's amazing. And it's not like bottled passion fruit juice. It's like actual passion fruit. So I got English breakfast. Thank you guys. I've had very low food since I've been here. But today I got something regular. But I had masala tea to, you know, balance it all out.
I had to rush to the airport thinking I was going to miss my flight. <laughs> but I made it on time. Everyone's still here. They haven't opened the gates yet, so. You guys, I had to screen my shoes. So when you're coming in, it doesn't matter what kind of shoes you're wearing, you have to screen them. Look at the shoes I have on and I had to take them off. Why would you possibly hide anything in me? Another thing I, I have to say about Kenyan airports is like, uh, I've been through Mombasa and Nairobi so far and I feel like even though they're strict with security and they check you several times, they're really nice about it and like, it's very efficient. Like they're very, their customer service is great. You don't feel intimidated, you don't feel scared. Like it's just super easy and smooth. So it makes traveling here really, really easy. Like, it's just simple steps like i don't know the feeling is just different compared to all the other airports that i've traveled in like in the west in ghana everywhere this is goodbye from mombasa guys i have had such a lovely time i'll be back again for holiday don't forget to give me a thumbs up comment in the comment section below let me know where you think i'm going next i'll see you in my next one don't forget to follow your place so i like it follow your place